Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Dennis Wicker, it's been some weeks since we heard anything regarding the redistricting of judges or the way we uh, put them on the bench. We understand this might be part of a discussion in the short session of the legislature that convenes in May. In the meantime, uh, a legislative committee is studying these issues, uh, but a supposed expert says the way we elect our judges is probably the best way. John, you served on the, the Chief Justice's Study Commission on this, mm -hmm. uh, which disagreed with this. What's your reaction to that? Well, the, study, the, the commission that we did stud, looked at judicial selection, at, looked all around the country, looked at the different options, advocated a change, but frankly, we couldn't come to an agreement about the specifics of the change that, that we all agreed to. Uh, different states do it different ways, and I will have to tell you, having looked at the evidence recently in this commission, we shouldn't jump to the conclusion that there is a clear, better system that generates clearly better results in terms of public confidence in the judiciary or anything else. There are not large differences among the states based upon how they select judges. That having been said, I think it is likely to come up in the short session. Uh, it might have something to do more with with filling judicial vacancies and the method we have for that rather than putting people on the court for the first time. Oh, no. I don't We're know. We're going to get back into partisan uh, Well, we've argument. already got partisan elections. I know, so but this partisan is filling the, the seats and taking that, uh, the legislature and the governor getting with that job? I don't again? know, but I, th I think that is where this is going, yes. Wow. Uh, so far as this judicial situation is concerned, Dennis, um, what's, your, what's your take on uh, this whole process of putting people on the bench? Well, you remember when, you, when your father told you, don't poke at a hornet's nest? Uh, I, I really think that's what's happening here. Um, he didn't really mean it, did he? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've poked at a few of them, and I understand what he's talking about. But I will tell you that I think that the uh, judicial elections, if I, had, if I could wave a magic wand and, and, and pro proclaim what I would like to see in the judicial elections, of course, you know, I have a legal background, it would be nonpartisan election of judges. First of all, people are not going to give up their right to vote for anybody for anything in this state. And second, I think people generally have a sense of who would do the best job on the bench. Uh, and we've got a pretty good corrupt-free judicial system since we've been in existence. All right, let me play devil's advocate with you here because uh, the truth of the matter is, unquestionably, the voters have no idea in the world who they're voting for when they go into the ballot box and vote for judges. I get those calls. Okay, so putting an R or a D beside the name, does that make it any better? John, you say it does. Uh, I do. I dis res disagree respectfully with my friend Dennis on this question. If we're going to have elections, they need to be real elections. Real elections are partisan elections. We saw what happened in 2016 when we had partisan elections for the appeals court and we had a nonpartisan, supposedly nonpartisan election for the Supreme Court and it is absolutely clear if you look at the evidence that lots and lots of North Carolinians voted for Mike Morgan, who was elected because they thought he was the Republican in the race because he was listed first. That is a silly way to determine the control All of the of Supreme it Court. All of we need to do it differently. I, I'm not sure that's how they... Disallow us of this Morgan. notion. Oh, I'm it is sure absolutely, I, I there's how, no question. I don't know how you determine that from every it's voter very in the easy. state of North it's Carolina. very easy if you look but at But I'd the like patterns. to have that discussion offset with you. <laughs> but I will tell you, I think that it has a chilling effect when you have politics enter into uh, a judicial system. It fuels the money, and that is a really dangerous component of what we're talking about. We ought to have judges that are nonpartisan. I, at one time, supported partisan races like John did, but I was wrong. The evidence indicates we're probably going to see the most expensive judicial race for the Supreme Court in North Carolina we've and it's ever seen. It's going, to be a de it's going to desecrate our court system if we're not careful. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.